Uh, Hello, ladies. Wait, yes. wait, wait. You can always start. I always start. You start. I'm not starting this time. I, I don't, I'm not I, starting. No. I don't want to start. No, go ahead. Start. What do we normally say? I always say. say. I always No, go ahead. You. What do we normally say at the beginning? I don't, I don't Hi, know. Hi, guys. It's, it's no. not my line. I don't know. No, come on. Go ahead. You can do it. Come on. You can do it. Uh, say it. Start it. Come on. Do it. Hey. Here we are with BeerAmerica.tv. <laughs> He's a natural, isn't he? That's okay, funny. okay. I just kind of feel a little welcome. dirty. Make them I feel just, welcome. Make them, I, come on, they're, I get feel excited. Dirty right these are, now. These are people that are watching us all over the world on... I love the people. I love the people. They don't like it for crying out loud. Come on, welcome! I am I just don't know what... Uh, <coughs> welcome fine. to BeerAmerica.tv. I'm David Little. Thank you, David. Paul Leone. I don't even know who I am anymore. John Pinkerton. <laughs> there we go. See, I'm throwing you away. I'm sorry to mean throw See, you we've, we've kind of gotten into our roles. Yes. So it's, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of nice to break out of that. So this is going to be a little short. We've done, uh, in the past few episodes, we've done the Dogfish Head 120 Extreme IPA, and we've done the Worldwide Stout. Oh, David oh. has said, and has oh, notified yeah. me, which I didn't know, and uh, the Worldwide Stout. World so we're going to do Stout. a quick little uh, brewski call. I'm, a, I'm actually a big fan of... Uh, uh, well, black and tans or half and half. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, you know, you find a nice little beer that you uh, that, that complement each other. Right. Most people know about black and tan. This is a. Just hold this up here and we'll. Uh, uh, well, this is actually something. If you go to Dogfish, if you go to the brew pub, mm -hmm. so here's a little bit of 120. They'll give you what they call their heaven and hell. There you go. Right there. Now, so there's heaven. Uh, and it doesn't mix like, an, like a black and tan does. Right? Now, no. most black and tans, well, we got a little bit of mix. Look at that. Ooh, it's yeah, almost opposite. You did. Right. Look at that. Oh, it's, it's there. It's there. Ooh, it, cool. It <laughs> we said it wouldn't do it, and it did. Well, we might have to burst out the spoon and yeah, see if we can, uh, see if we look can look get that. it. There you yeah. go. It's there. Yeah, the densities are pretty close. So uh, yeah. That's why if you get a black and tan, you know, normally you'll see, uh, well, the traditional black and tan Can try is, it with this one? Maybe if you poured it a little differently? And traditionally, you've got uh, a lager on the bottom and... Uh, oh, no, that's a half and half. It's usually a pale ale like bass, okay, with a Guinness on the top, which would be the black and tan. with the side, or would that matter? I don't know, let's see. And uh, the whole idea is that the, the Guinness is actually, despite what you might think, is much lighter in density than the, um, than the, nah, than the lighter to, ale. Now, the side, see, pouring it on the side didn't work uh, that time. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's try one more. Let's just give one more shot here. We need a spoon. Right, so this doesn't matter. We'll just be. So anyway, um, actually, the interesting thing about this is that these are both about 18% alcohol beer. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it. If we had a spoon, I bet you it would separate. Nice. So the first one was the best example. Not so good there. And it was just by accident. So. Yeah, it was just by accident. But the point is, is that this one doesn't tend to layer anyways. So. Yeah. Yeah. They they just well, and of course immediately I pick it up and swirl it, which. Uh, but you know, the, kind of the idea with this one is that you've got the big hop, the big sweet from the 120, and some of the roast, and, and still some more of the alcohol from the worldwide stout. <laughs> oh, I think that's what is there. Eye popping? a little what is light out of me there. I'm not sure, but uh, it's a, it's not bad. It's a big one. Yeah, that's uh, that's just the uh, two big tastes uh, blended together is kind of what. Uh, you got your chocolate in my IPA butter. <laughs> <laughs> no, you got your... The taste great. You got your IPA in my stuff. Yeah. yeah. No, it's... Um, wow. Well, you know... That's big. I mean, both of these big are beer. extreme. Right. right. They're, they're, you know, one is kind of extreme hoppy. One's, a, you know, extreme, you know... Can we please stop saying that? Extreme? It's driving me insane. I'm sorry. One is big hoppy. The other is, you know, big roast. I don't right. know. What, but, but let me digress here for a minute because it makes me think of something else. And even though we're calling this heaven and hell, and we know this is what Dogfish Head calls it, it brings up a good point. These collaboration beers, these beers that mix one beer with another beer, this is sort of the uh, same thing that's going on in an overall scheme. And not to digress sure, too much, sure, sure. but what we're doing is what a lot of breweries are doing, even though Dogfish is doing this within Dogfish, a lot of good. breweries are doing this with A, hey, Brewery A with Brewery B from West Coast. Let's combine them Perfect and example. see what we come up with. Yeah, uh, um Collaboration, not litigation. Which we've done before on Which the website, so check it out on the website, yeah. absolutely. Um, so that's you know two beers, right. uh, from one the from outside. Avery, one from mm -hmm. uh, Russian River that were yeah. both named the same, that instead mm -hmm. of and, uh, fighting over that, they... And, and another fine example is the uh, Dark Creek, Lips of Faith, right? New Belgium uh, put together two of their beers, right, uh, if I believe, uh, to make uh, that. Well, 
a little bit different concept though because they're actually brewing both these beers in house and doing sort of a right. blend to their own internal specifications. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I mean, I think I think what we're talking about here ultimately is blending. Right. And, Two uh, great tastes that taste great together. Well, uh, we Yangling, have, Yangling. I wish I could find the jingle on the way by playing it. Well, Yingling does that. They actually yeah. they have uh, a beer that's called Black and Tan. And oh yeah, which is a two very beers nice beer. that they brew, yeah. and then they they mm -hmm. blend them together and bottle them as a beer. But right. it's the same thing. It's it's two separate beers blended. And I mean, this is kind of an age old art. I mean, yeah. uh, I think the the thing of that that really kind of made Guinness what it is today is a sort of elaborate blending process. You know, old and new. Oh, Rodenbach, uh, exactly. another great example of uh, blending. Very old beer, very old sour sure. beer with uh, new beer, um, and you know, getting spectacular results I'm, out of it. I'm a big fan of lambics. Uh, mm -hmm. Same thing with a lot of the Belgian lambics. They do the same thing. They have they have newer uh, newer beers. There's the you know, unblended lambics, and then you get the you know the goose and and um, mm -hmm. you know some of those that uh, you know those things. When you take a couple, it takes a year or two for right. them to develop. They come up with new flavors, and then you. A little of this, a little of that, you get something completely new. So it's the worldwide 120. The yeah, <laughs> like that. 120 yeah, stout. They also do uh, another yeah. thing. Dogfish does another one where they combine their uh, 60 minute and their 90 minute, and they call it the 75. So I'm a big fan of that one. Actually, myself. Yeah, it takes the edge off of each one. You know, so. math. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, it's so, averaging. Yeah, yeah. Don't, yeah, yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah. So there you go. A quick little uh, bit on uh, heaven and hell. Don't. Well, actually, the, the what I want you know what we should take home from this is don't be afraid to play with your beard. Uh, yeah. You know. You know. Sam, in private, you know? or can they do it with friends? Oh, Personally, oh, I don't like all the to way play in with public. My beard. <laughs> all, in public, yeah, play with your own beer. Yeah. But uh, I have a lot of fun sometimes. Just you know, some yeah. some beers. Let's let's you know uh, throw a little uh, frambois into uh, mm -hmm. uh, Nalagash White, and you know, come up with something completely new. It scares me to think of you playing with your beer. <laughs> well, there you go. That's, so, gentlemen. That's, that's it. No, no, sorry. I'm looking for hair on my palm. That's right. something else. <laughs> Paul at BearAmerica.tv. Pink at BearAmerica.tv. Speechless. We'll do David at BearAmerica.tv. David at America. Beer America. TV. <laughs> Cheers, gentlemen. I may not be on another one, but, yeah. you know, it's lunch. Cheers. <laughs>